Hello, I returned recently from um, the South Sound Board Game Convention. I think that's the name of the event. There was one in October, I believe. Uh, that was the first one. And this is the second one. Um, there's, in terms of organization, it seemed like they put less into it, but that was still okay. Um, it's, it was a very laid back atmosphere with plenty of room for games. Um, there weren't any special events that let me win a game. But I did get to play a lot of games, and that was nice. Um, there's, I'm going again tomorrow. And I'm also going again the next day. It's a weekend deal, and it's a lot of fun. So today was Pi Day, 3.314.14, uh, because it's 2014 currently, and it's March, and it's the 14th. And so in honor of that, I allowed myself to play a lot of... Or I made myself, well, well, kind of a cross between making myself and that's what people wanted to play. A lot of games that involved just like kind of numbers and trying to get numbers. And so um, I played a number of these games that seem to have kind of arbitrary rule sets. Uh, you've probably played games like these where the rule set is just kind of like you, the rules are the rules because they say so. It's not really connected to anything necessarily or there's different degrees of connectedness. Um, I find I can... So the first game I played was one that one person actually created, and he's put a lot of work into it. Um, it was a lighter game, and so it was kind of enjoyable to me. It was the first game I played. Uh, I, I don't feel like I should say too much about it because it's somebody's baby, and maybe they are protective of their baby, and they don't want their baby on the internet. Uh, but it kind of felt the same way to me that Carcassonne feels, where you're just kind of like, it's your turn, and you're just making some choices, and, you know, it matters what you choose, and there's strategy there, but um, it's not so long, so you don't, like, kind of have to stick with this arbitrary rule set that just kind of these things you do because you, the rules say you do them. Um, that was nice. Then the next game I played was more connected to the world, uh, but longer, maybe like a mid-length game by today's standards, and that was called Endeavor. And I, as I was playing, I realized I'd played it before, um, and that game's all right. I I would probably play it again. It's not one I would seek to play, but as far as those kind of games go, I felt like the the arbitrary rules were less arbitrary. They they seemed to make more sense to me why the rules were how they are. Um, yeah, so that was that was fun, and I enjoyed that game. And then I played Triassic Terror, which at, by the time I got to Triassic Terror, I kind of did a bum bum bum. I've kind of been off kilter today anyway, but I just kind of couldn't engage with it on any level. Um, it seemed incredibly arbitrary to me. The map is just these three concentric circles um, divided into four zones, and you're trying to control areas, and there's these different actions that are tied to, I guess, I guess kind of what made it not, made it worse for me is that it hit this spot between like, kind of trying to pretend like it portrayed its subject matter, and, but, but instead was uh, purely arbitrary in its execution. So, there was some connection, but it wasn't enough. But there was enough connection to make me annoyed by it a little bit. But, again, my experience is very much colored by everything that led up to it, right? So it was kind of like third new game, learning the game. Because even though I'd played Endeavor before, I'd forgotten most of the rules. Um, that wasn't really a game I would have initiated in a row. And just kind of... It's it's a bit wearing. Um, so I did that, and then I think I went on a walk after that because I needed to clear my head and just kind of yeah get away from the arbitrary games. And I came back and I played Saga, which is a fine little game again, kind of arbitrary rules. Um, probably more connected to its subject than Triassic Terror. About the same, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. Not the same as Triassic Terror, but I'm thinking of maybe it's the same as Endeavor a little bit. It's a card game. Card games are kind of in a different realm. 
Um, it's a Kramer game. I've played Torius by Kramer. Uh, they, I can see the connection. There's like the iconography was similar. The kind of advanced slash basic game was similar. Um, but my head was still kind of not in it. Uh, I was in it more than Triassic Terror. Triassic Terror, I just kind of was just like whatever when I played it. Um, but yeah, it was fine. Uh, it's nice. It was compact. Um, and then I went home after that because it was getting kind of later and I'd been gone all day at this convention. I wanted to say, spend a little time with my son before he went to bed. Um, we went on a bike ride around the, the block and just kind of check in with everything because he's a, he's a real beast of a boy. And sometimes if I'm not around, uh, he, he goes crazy. So I came back um, and then I went back and there was a, ta a game of Tales of the Arabian Nights, like right at the entryway, the people who were running the door were playing. And it looked like they had started a four-player game, but two people had dropped out. So I sat in with that. And that was kind of the, that's the counter to Pi Day. <laughs> you know, it's totally like your decisions don't really matter that much. In fact, there, I was insane for a good portion of the game. So my, I d didn't even get to really make my decisions, except for where I went. If you don't know the game, you b basic basic turn is you move um, and you can decide where you move but there's another condition you can get where you don't decide where you move and then you get an encounter and then you decide how you respond to the encounter but there's really um, you don't hear what the encounter is before you respond you just know kind of like oh this encounter involves a beleaguered hag and then you can aid the hag or grovel or attack or you know there's just there's usually about 10 options um, so I couldn't even like pick that, but it was just, it's just so story. There's no, like if you win Tales of the Arabian Nights, it's not something to be proud of, really. It's, it's totally a process game and you're not even that involved with the process. So it's kind of the anti all of that. And that was a great way to end the night, uh, end the day and Pi Day. And so I could have sat in on another game before I went home, but I decided just to end it there. Tales of the Arabian Nights, go back tomorrow. I think I'm going to resolve not to play any high day games and just, you know, try to play the games I want to play. Be a little more selfish. Yes, yes. All right, well, I'll check back in with you uh, tomorrow. Okay.